what a president could do on day one without a sympathetic um, uh, Congress. And Joe Biden, it appears he may have a 50-50 Congress, uh, or I should say Senate, if we're lucky. Uh, but if I had to bet, I would say unlikely, but who knows? I mean, Georgia I mean, by, was- a... By the way, e even if he has a 50-50 Congress, I mean, every five minutes, Joe Manchin is on Fox News telling me all the things that he won't pass uh, if, if he gets in, it, you know, if it's a 50-50 Congress. So it doesn't matter if right. there's 50-50 Congress or not, uh, Joe Biden is going to have to use executive authority if he wants to really get things done. That's right. I've mentioned in the past how, how these guys like Joe Manchin, they want to put themselves right at the, the tippy point of the fulcrum because that gets all the attention. Um, all right. So with just a couple of minutes here, um, what's the best way for this stuff to reach Joe Biden? I mean, is this like uh, the, 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 the relief of student debt? Is that, are, do we, are we looking to the Secretary of Education to bring that into uh, Joe Biden? I mean, how does it, what's the mechanics of this? I, I thought going on the majority report was the answer, but that's why well, I'm here. It very well may be. I mean, uh, Ron Klain could be watching this right now for all it, we know. I very, it's probable. Um, uh, so, I mean, I, a lot of this is tied up in personnel. Yes. So uh, who is decided to go into these positions and uh, how creative they are, how, how aggressive they might be, how willing they are to use the apparatus at their disposal. And I, I really think that the cabinet agencies are going to get a, a fairly free hand. I mean, they'll have sort of broad strokes, but Biden is a delegator. He, he, he is not a micromanager. And so, you know, if you get someone at the Labor Department uh, uh, who is willing to, to really, you know, push that around, you're going to get, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an OSHA that is more aggressive and that puts together a coronavirus standard on in terms of what, uh, what guidelines uh, workplaces have to take in order to bring people back. Um, you're going to, if you get someone at, at this Department of Education that really cares about student debt, uh, you're you're going to get uh, you know really aggressive stands and and look Biden has has said that uh, during the coronavirus he wanted to cancel ten thousand dollars of student debt as as part of his build back better plan so uh, it, it's it's not out of uh, the 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 realm of possibility um, uh, so I I think that personnel is the way that you get there that you get the people in place who really know this stuff and who know these agencies and what their, their abilities are. Okay. Well, let's, um, uh, we're going to take a break. I don't know if you know this, but we stream uh, this program on the Peacock app on the choice uh, channel on Peacock runs at 5 PM every day, 10 PM every day. And then I think uh, maybe a couple of times uh, through the evening. So if folks miss it. They can check it out uh, there. Um, tomorrow on this program, I'm going to have uh, Ryan Grimm on. We're going to talk about this uh, this fight that has broken out between progressives and sort of the more conservative Dems and um, characterize it, uh, I think, in some places being characterized as an ideological one. In other ones, I think it's, it's being properly characterized as really more of a, an administrative, almost institutional argument about how to build the power of the institution. Uh, we will get there uh, tomorrow. Uh, David Dan, folks can check you out at American Prospect. If you would stick around on the other side, I got a couple more questions for you that we will answer in the fun half of this program. For the rest of you, we'll see you tomorrow.